All right, we are talking about unit vectors and the addition and subtraction of vectors. I've got an example given points P, which is 0, 2, 4, and Q, which is negative 3, 1, 5. Find all sorts of good things there. Okay, so first of all, A, we'll do A first, naturally. Uh, position vectors R sub P and R sub Q. So if P is at 0, 2, 4, the coordinates, then well, the position vector is very simple. It's 0 in the x direction plus 2 in the y direction plus 4 in the z direction. Right? That's that's our answer for the the uh, for p's position vector and then q's position vector. Q is minus 3 in the x direction. So minus 3 times that unit vector there plus 1 in the y direction, so plus a y, and then plus 5 in the z direction, a z, like that. And so that's the second part of our answer there. Nice. Right. Okay, let's go to b. The distance, the distance vector from p to q, from p to q, so that is, uh, we write that as r sub p q the distance from P to Q. So that is defined as the distance vector Q, or the position vector Q, minus the position vector P. All right, so we can do that, right? We know how to add and subtract vectors, maybe. So we're going to take um, Q's, we're gonna first start in the X direction, so, so Q's x component is minus 3 and P's is 0. So we take minus 3 minus 0. So that gives us minus 3 in the x direction. Okay, now the y direction. Where Q's is 1 and P's is minus 2. So 1, or P's is 2. So 1 minus 2 is minus 1 minus a y like that. Right. And then finally for the z direction we have 5 minus 4 is 1, so plus a z. And that is our distance vector. That's the distance vector between p, q, from p to q. All right, now what is the distance now? So we have the distance between p and q. So now what we do is we take the magnitude or the norm of that distance vector. So we just want the norm of that guy, minus 3ax minus ay plus az, right? We want the norm of that guy. Well, how do we get the norm of that? How do we get its magnitude? We take the square root of each component squared. So we've got a minus 3 squared there, plus minus 1 squared, plus 1 squared. Take the square root, right? And so when we do that, we get 3.32, and I just want to point out notationally, and I'm keeping three sig figs there, by the way, notationally we would say that that's the norm or the magnitude of this distance vector, right, like that. All right, I'll do D up here. A vector parallel to PQ, so whenever you see this notation, PQ, two points adjacent to one another, then that, that means the line, the segment. So a vector parallel to the line PQ with magnitude of 10. Okay, so let's first of all st start out by calling our answer, call this vector, call it A, right? Vector A. So let's first find a unit vector our strategy is to first find a unit vector in this direction, and then we will scale it up by 10. So how do we find a unit vector in that direction? Well, we already have a vector in that direction, right? We already have a vector, and the vector that we have is the distance vector from P to Q. So we take that vector, which was our answer to part B, right, and we divide it by the length of that vector, oh, we already have that too, 3.32, right? So now that's a unit vector that points from P to Q. Okay, so then we take that vector and we scale it up by 10. 
right? So we, we compute that, so let, let's do that. So this would be negative 30 ax, right? 10 times, uh, 10 times negative three. And then we have minus 10 times one, so 10 times, uh, so we have 10 ay there, minus 10 ay. And then we have 10 times uh, one az, so plus 10 az. All right, so that's the numerator of that thing, and then we divide by, you know, this 3.32, but 3.32 is actually uh, uh, rounded to three significant digits, so I'm just going to keep, I'm not going to write 3.32, I'm not going to let that rounding carry over to part D, so I'm going to, I'm going to keep, we've got a 9, 10, 11, square root of 11 there. So I'm going to take minus 30 divided by the square root of 11 for the x direction, right, minus 10, divided by the square root of 11 for the y direction, and 10 divided by the square root of 11 for the z direction. So when I get that, or when I do that, I've got my vector a. Vector a to three significant digits is negative 9.05 in the x direction, minus 3.02 in the y direction, and plus 3.02 in the z direction. So that's our answer there. And I also want to point out that another acceptable answer, right, if, if this vector is like this in vector space, then another acceptable answer, parallel, like, right, like if here is p and here is q, right, and we have some vector that's 10 times that distance, so it's actually way up here, right, then another acceptable answer is the reverse of that right, a, a vector parallel to that line. So we can reverse that. So we could say or uh, 9.05 ax plus 3.02 ay minus 3.02 az, right, that's acceptable as well.